In this tutorial, I'll explain the projections of straight line problem. This is a typical problem. The problem is something like this. A room is 6 meter by 5.5 meter and 4 meter height. Determine graphically the distance between the top corner and bottom corner diagonally opposite to it. So here the room you can consider like this. This length is 6 meters. This width is 5.5 meter. This height is 4 meter. These are the dimensions of the room. Okay. Now this corner we assume as A. Not this diagonal opposite corner. Diagonally opposite but bottom corner. You have to consider this is B. This is like a solid diagonal of the room. Line joining AB is something like this. This AB distance we have to find. That means AB you can consider as a line. And this line true length we have to find. That is our target. Okay. So now for this room you consider this wall as the vertical plane. This floor you consider as horizontal plane. Then point A is in the VP and point B is in the HP. When a point A is in the VP, its front view lies somewhere here only that is A dash. Its top view will lie on the XY line something like this somewhere here. So this is our XY line that is the intersection of HP and VP. Now front view you will get somewhere here only at this particular height that height is 4 meters that means from the XY line at a height of 4 meters we will get a dash. A you will get somewhere here on the XY line only. The top you will get on the XY line only because the point is in the BP. Okay. Now the distance from here to here that means the distance between the projectors you can assume as 6 meters. Now the point B is in the HP. The point is in the HP means the top view will come here only. The front view will come on to the XY line. Okay. This is the top view. The front view will be coming on to the x y line, something like this. This is B dash and this is B. B point is at a distance of 5.5 meters from the x y line. So, after rotating the horizontal plane, this 5.5 meter will come below the x y line. So, this is about the positions of A dash A, B dash B. Now, we will represent this on the plane. Take the x y line. At a distance of 4 meters from the x y line, you draw the locus. Somewhere here, take A dash. Then, if you draw a projector like this, here you will get A. And at a distance of 5.5 meters below the XY line, we will get B. That means on this line, we will get point B. Okay. The distance between the M projectors is 6 meters. So, take 6 meters distance. To get point B, take 6 meters distance and draw a projector. Automatically, here you will get B dash on the xy line here you will get b after getting a dash a b dash b you join them to get the final projection that means a b a dash b dash and a b this is the final front view this is the final top view okay now how to get the true length for that observe the standard problem so this is our standard problem if you rotate this front view a dash b dash then you are getting b3 dash from b3 dash if you draw a projector onto the locus of top views you are getting a b3 this is the true length if you are starting from the front view you are getting the true length in the top view if you are starting from the top view you are getting the true length in the front view ok now observe our problem so now i will start from the front view I will take A dash as center, A dash, B dash as radius, I will draw an arc, something like this. Here I will get B3 dash. Okay. From B3 dash, if I draw the projector onto the locus of top views, that means up to B. Here I will get B3. This is B3. Line joining A B3 is the true length. Now, if you start drawing from the top view, if you rotate this, then you are going to get B2. From B2 you have to draw the projector onto the locus of front view. That means this line itself. B T B dash is representing the locus of front view. That means from from that means at the same position you will get B2 dash also. B2 and B2 dash lies at the same place. Okay. Line joining A dash and B2 dash 
is again giving the true length. So this line length, this line length remains same. That is equal to distance between A and B.